This is Biotech Now, your source for news and knowledge about biotech innovations that are transforming our world. Biotech Now is produced by the Biotechnology Industry Organization, BIO. I heard about the BioGenius Award when I was in high school. Basically, um, I was going against another student in Intel iSelf competition, and I was trying to find a way to beat the other student by getting around. But also, in our area, it's required to do science competitions through middle school in the gifted program. And I decided to keep that on in high school. And while I was doing research about various competitions, I was actually working in a biotech lab in high school. So I found out about the BioGenius competition and found that they were sponsoring biotech projects for high school students. I thought it would be a perfect fit. And that's how I found out about the BioGenius competition. Well, my experiences at the BioGenius Challenge um, have been extended. I've done it from 2007, where I was a finalist in the international level. Um, I competed to the regional level in 2008, and then I actually placed in 2009 as a third place winner um, at the international level. And it's been a wonderful experience for all three years. Um, my first year, it was, you know, kind of overwhelming. The I'll never forget, it was in Memphis, Tennessee, and in Memphis, there were, I was the only sophomore in Memphis. Um, the other students were all seniors, so I thought for sure I wouldn't even make it past the regional level. And I was shocked to make it past that point. And then actually, when I made it to the national level, I got to hear Michael J. Fox talk. And that was very inspiring. And he was just basically talking about how we need more people interested in sciences and to find cures for different diseases and cancers. And then extended on to 2008 2009, of course, where in 2008 I actually um, didn't pass the regional level, but I just happened to have another judge the next year in the regional level that um, saw me and she said, wow, it's good to see you back again and welcome back. <laughs> and then I moved on to 2009 and it's just been a wonderful experience. Um, the connection, the meeting all the different students, the exposure, even getting to meet to my governor um, was the most thrilling moment to me my senior year. He just, because it was actually in Atlanta and I'm from Georgia, so it was just a, it's been a wonderful experience. What I'm doing now is, it's kind of spread out. Um, I'm now attending Columbia University. I'm still in scientists. I attend the Food Foundation School of Engineering and Applied Sciences where I plan on majoring in operations research, engineering management systems. And so basically I'm working on the more social aspect of science rather than the research. But also to promote more scientific research from younger people, um, I'm also working with the Higher Performance Learning Institute in New York City, working with minorities to promote them to continue fields in um, science, mathematics, technology, encourage them. We prepare them for competitions, even for competitions like Biogenes Competition. I have something called the Johnny Fields um, Every Child Deserves a Fair Chance Foundation, where we basically give out scholarships to um, students at my local high school and also give out um, savings bonds to students at the local science fair competitions to encourage them to continue to do science. You know, just because you're from a small area doesn't mean necessarily that you can't go far. And that any child that may be interested in doing a scientific research project or also presenting their work but don't want to go to, the BioGenius competition will be the perfect start. Um, all you have to do is go to BioGenius at biotechinstitute.org and that BioGenius is B-I-O-G-E-N-E-I-U-S at biotechinstitute.org. Biotech Now is a production of the Biotechnology Industry Organization, BIO. Bio member companies research and develop innovative technologies that help feed, heal, and fuel the world. Visit us on the web at www.bio.org.